Many Forest fans getting in touch this lunchtime. Jim, please ask Martin what he thinks, A, of the fact that Forest beat Villa yesterday by two goals to nil, and B, that they're, they're looking all right for us. They're sitting in 12th and moving mm. along quite well. Are you comfortable, Martin, with this this football club very much close to your heart, that they, they've they stabilised somewhat at this particular stage? Uh, well, uh, you know this idea about something being really close to your heart. <laughs> and then and, yeah, and then the next thing you know, you, you get bombed out after 19 games. I, this coming. I had 10 wonderful years at the football club, five of them being the best years you could ever imagine as a professional footballer. That has gone a long, long time ago. <laughs> but look ago. how they've gone, really? They bombed you. And look, look how, yeah, they, it dropped into... A, it's a yeah, love affair yeah. over. Well, they had about 15 managers since that, you know. So, um, right, the... The but football. it doesn't bother you in any way. Seriously, there's a well, love well, of forest listen, going out. Well, like, it's, you, you say this, you say this almost sarcastically, uh, uh, sarcastically, as if it doesn't bother you. Uh, and I'm quite sure uh, you've only mentioned that I would say about uh, six thousand times about the the jobs that all the managers did for you and losing all your money, Simon, as well. To you know, at a football club, so it does. I bother actually you. haven't actually. You know, That's yeah, well, an unfair um, analysis. Uh, well, well, I've criticised uh, your creed. Sorry, sorry. I, I I read your book. It was only mentioned six thousand times in your book. And, <laughs> oh yeah, uh, but I wrote that a long yeah, time yeah, ago. Yeah, I've had time to yeah, get over yeah, that now. No, 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 we all get over things at some stage or another. Sounds like you I'm, have, yeah. I'm quite... <laughs> you don't I'm, feel as emotionally this, close to Forrest the, because of what happened with Maranakis well, of and course, you? Well, of course, it's a natural reaction. It's a natural thing, you know, seriously. He's desperately you're, trying to keep the right side of this conversation. You are doing wonderfully well here at this minute. Do you know what? Talk sport might bomb you out in a year's time. No wonder if you have the same sort of feelings. Oh, 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 oh. And you'd have, you know, I think Jim would be man enough to say, I had a good run. Yeah, uh, what? There you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah I bet. And maybe wouldn't. 19 games was enough. They <laughs> saw enough. <laughs> 19 or 40 percent winner. Incidentally, in the passing, <laughs> were you told personally by Manor? Sorry, no. Listen, no, no. Was no, it an no, email? No, no, just let, let, let's get back. Let's get back to Nottingham Forest. They're do that, that. That was a big result. Well, was I, you started it? Yeah, and I. Do you know what? I knew that Aston Villa would have a lot of difficulty going there. Crowder up for the game. Mm. Aston Villa in a really good run, never get started, Forest score the early goal, and Forest have some good players playing at the football club. Really good players yeah. at this minute. Who are you rooting that, for? Pardon? Who are you rooting for on the weekend? I, that's a very good point. I was probably rooting, rooting for a draw in the game, you know, so that uh, get a point each. Because I think that Villa are in really good hands with the manager. I, I do think too. he's excellent mm. manager as well too. And uh, so really, um, Forrest, there's... there's Forrester will, they will, they are gradually getting all together. But if you had a gun together. put to your head and someone Pardon? said to you, you really have to make this choice, there's no other way around it, who would you have wanted to have won that game? Uh, well, thankfully there wasn't a gun put to my head. <laughs> and, is that what you said, did you? <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. Oh, good Lord, that was uh, kind of serious. So, um, so you're going to say yeah. Aston Villa, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to plead the Fifth Amendment. No, oh, why right? not? That means Aston Villa. But you're right, they've got some good players uh, for us. Gibbs White in there. They've got Aina, who came back and, and opened mm. the scoring. Alanga. Um, yeah, they've got yeah. Alanga in there. They've got a whole bunch of people who I think can keep Forrest going in the right Ab- direction. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. But on, but on Villa... It's the manager you constantly come back to, and you're a fan of Unai Emery. And you think, is it your belief that under Emery, Villa will be pushing top six, maybe pushing top four? Well, yes, I, I, I think that's capable. I think they're very, very capable for a number of reasons. I think you think that that if you uh, uh, let it, let us say that, that let's say euphemistically speaking that uh, Chelsea and Manchester United are are not great. At the moment, you know, uh, Chelsea cannot have have the room to improve. We're not so sure about Manchester United, yeah. and those two teams might at this minute, this season, might and say might, both teams can go on a great, great run. Might let's say not be in the top four. Then, then, then you're looking at Aston Villa being very, very close. If that's the case, they've got things to improve. You know, they do play a very, very high line. I must admit that's that that can be dangerous. And uh, but overall, as I said to you, the manager's an excellent manager, and Aston Villa have some really good players as well. Sam, at about half past 12, uh, Alex, Kurt, our colleague here at Talk Sport, is going to join us. We're going to talk more uh, about West Ham, talk about a variety of things with Alex. Um, reports this morning claiming that it's unlikely David Moyes' contract will be extended, it expires at the end of the season. Now, that pretty much flies in the face of uh, the euphoria that David Sullivan was feeling yeah. the morning after they won the Europa Conference League. This was Sullivan on air with us. We believed in him. We had a lot of pressure from supporters, press, everyone who seems mad on making changes, but we believe in honouring contracts. David had a contract with us and has a contract with us to next summer. And next summer, we look at it again, you know. 
but until then, as long as he wants to remain the manager, he will remain the manager of West Ham. Okay. As long as he wants to. Right. I mean, apparently under consideration, um, a, a, an opportunity for Moyes to move upstairs at the football club. Would, would that it, make sense? Not, well, it depends if David wants that. I mean, David's 60 years of age. I wrote an article about him last week, uh, a few weeks ago, actually, about the idea that if you look at his return, he went to West Ham and they binned him for Pellegrini. Pellegrini made a holix of it, spent money on players like Felipe Anderson, the 40 million quid that were a waste of time. And David Moyes came back, fixed the problems, kept them in the division, put them seventh in the league the following season, puts them eighth the following season, gets into a European Cup semi-final. The following season, he wins a European uh, a European um, uh, trophy, the one that myself and Martin think is the least valuable of a lot, because it is, yeah. right? But it's still a European yeah. trophy. Uh, and the team's going well this year. OK, they've got beaten the last couple of games. But they're 11th in the league. They're, 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 they're doing well in Europe. Well, they haven't won the league since September. OK, but we always have the statistic trotted out about what they haven't yeah. done. And at the end of the season, we find out what they did do, right? Which is <laughs> win the European competition yeah. they were in, stay in the division after a challenge last year, finish 7th in the league. And we have these sort of micro moments where yeah. all of a sudden we get to hear from a dissenting group of the West Ham fans about what they don't like about David Moyes. I'm in the camp that David Moyes has made some career decisions like Sociedad and Sunderland that were unwise, or more to the point, the things he said at Sunderland were unwise. And the career decision to go to Sociedad was a bad career decision. I think he's fully redeemed himself. I think the David Moyes of 23, if he needed to redeem himself in the eyes of those that didn't think he was doing his job, the manager of 23 would be, would be better equipped to manage Manchester United than the manager of 2013. I think, tragically for him if West Ham's board are prepared to let his contract drift till the end of the season mm. and not secure him, yeah. they either think he can't mm. go anywhere else, mm. there's no value in him. Yeah. And that mm. means that there's a possibility that David will be departing West Ham. And I think that, that that's that's to West Ham's loss. Yeah. If he wants to go into the board, if he wants to go as a director of football at 60 years of age, and that's where he's going, and I would be surprised. Because yeah. I think yeah. he's full of beans and full of energy. Martin, how would you have felt if when you were managing and it came to an end at a certain club, there was an invitation for you to, well, you'd like to join us upstairs, director of football? Well, it depends what age you are. And uh, and uh, Simon has just mentioned that David's 60 years of age. He's got loads of management uh, still left in him. Uh, if you're 94 and somebody's in, uh, asking you to go upstairs, you'll go and take it for the last two months of your life. But um, so <laughs> what, what, what I'm saying... <laughs> that what you do, I am totally in agreement with uh, with Simon here. The David Moyes has has done brilliantly at West Ham. Brilliantly, mm. there is a section of fans that you are never going to convince. There will be a section. Hopefully, it's a small minority. It kind of reminds me of the time that um, that uh, when um, when the elections were coming up, and Margaret Thatcher once uh, Margaret Thatcher was looking around for voting and uh, and called a meeting with um, with the um, the other members of the uh, of the parliament the group that the she cabinet. called the cabinet uh, the group that she called the vegetables and um, <laughs> and she was looking at a certain area of the country where the people said there's uh, you know oh, let's go and campaign there and she said no no we can't campaign there we're never going to win the votes just leave that alone. So the point I'm trying to make is this here, that, you know, you are, no matter what you do at a football club, there will be a group waiting for you to lose two or three games. As Simon mentioned, you know, that, that sort of micro that effort there that you're doing. So listen, leave it, leave it out. He's done brilliantly in the job. And uh, I, I'm really surprised if they didn't, if West Ham were not to offer him a longer contract. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.